I'm Anil Kumar. Here's a request from some of my students. We'll do a review for MHF4U trigonometry. So in this particular video, I'll take off five, six examples to show how to simplify trigonometric expressions. So we'll begin with a very interesting one, which is uh, sine pi by 4 plus x plus sine pi by 4 minus x. Now, to simplify, you have to remember compound angle formula, which is sine a plus b, which is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b, right? And also, so what is sine a minus b? Sine a minus b is sine a cos b. This becomes minus cos a sine b, correct? Now, if I add them up, what happens? We get our formula, which is, let me rewrite here, sine a plus b plus sine a minus b is equal to, these two terms cancel and we get 2 sine a cos b. So that's the formula which we are going to use to simplify the given expression, correct? Okay, so let's rewrite. We have here, so let's just close it here. So let's rewrite what we have. We have sine pi by 4 plus x plus sine pi by 4 minus x. So if I'm using this formula, I'm using a as pi by 4 and b as equal to x. So when I add them up, I get twice sine a cos b, and therefore I could write this expression as 2 times sine a, which is pi by 4, cos b, which is x, cos x. Correct? Now what is sine pi by 4? As you know, sine pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2. It's a special triangle, cos x, and this can be simplified and written as square root 2, cos x. Perfect. So that is how you could simplify this particular expression. Let's take a few more. So here is the next one, which is 2 sine square a minus cos 2a. Now I'd like to remind you double angle formula here for cos 2a. So let's begin with cos uh, a plus b, which should be written as cos a cos b minus sin a sin b, correct? Now if I substitute a equals to b, then it becomes cos of a plus a, which is 2a. So that is how you get double angle, right? And here you get cos a cos a minus sin a sin a, correct? a equals to b. Or you can say cos 2a equals to cos square a minus sin square a. So this is a very important formula which we are going to use. Correct? Or we can work with this formula. However, you'll recall that this formula can also be written in other forms. We could write this as 2 cos square a minus 1 and also 1 minus 2 sin square a, right? Okay, so let's copy the question and simplify the expression. It is 2 sine square a plus cos 2a. So using this formula here, we'll replace cos 2a by cos square a minus sine square a. So we get a 2 sine square a plus cos square a minus sine square a. Now 2 sine square a minus sine square a is how much? It is sine square a. And we get plus cos square a. And there's some, as you know, it's a Pythagorean identity, right? So it's one, right? So it's Pythagorean trig identity. Right? So using this, we could actually solve. And this expression simplifies to just one, right? Now let's take another example here, which is, 
sin x plus cos x times sin x minus cos x plus 1 divided by sin square x. Now, since this gives you some idea, we are going to use the formula a plus b times a minus b equals to a square minus b square. Okay? So that should help us to solve this question. So let's rewrite the equation, which is sine x plus cos x times sine x minus cos x plus 1 divided by sine square x. So we could write numerator as difference of squares, which is sine square x minus cos square x. Now, one could be written as what? Well, one could be written as sine square x plus cos square x. This is Pythagorean identity, correct? Which we talked about in the last video, right? So this is same as this, which is Pythagorean trig identity. Does it make sense to you, right? It helps to simplify the denominator is sine square x. Let's complete this part. Now, as you can see, cos square x plus minus vanish. What are we left with? We are left with 2 sine square x divided by sine square x. And that is the number 2. So this, all this reduces to just 2. So this is equal to 2, right? Okay, so let's move on to another identity and see it's not an identity it's an expression right we'll simplify this expression and see what it results into you can always pause the video do it yourself and then check with my solution now in this particular case we are talking about angles 30 and 60 degrees so let me sketch the triangle which we might use so let's say this angle here is 60 degrees and here we have 30 degrees that is 90 degrees then the sides of the triangle are 1 2 and square root 3 right you know all that this is a very special triangle now to simplify we'll expand the whole expression so, so we'll expand using sine we'll use a minus b formula which is equal to sine a cos b minus cos a sine b right and we'll use cos a minus b formula which is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b perfect so these are the two formulas which will be required to solve this you can always pause the video answer and then look into my solution so expanding the numerator, okay, let's copy the question, which is sine of x minus 30 degrees plus cos of 60 degrees minus x divided by sine x. So that gives us sine x cos 30 degrees minus cos x sine 30 degrees. That's for the first expression. And then we have cos of 60 degrees cos of x plus sine of 60 degrees sine of x correct divide all this by sine of x right now at this stage let me substitute the values and see what we get sine x fine cos of 30 degrees so when you look at cos of 30 degrees it becomes square root 3 over 2 so it becomes square root 3 over 2 minus cos x sine of 30 degrees sine of 30 degrees is half plus cos 60 so if you look from here it is half so it is half of cos x and sine of 60 is square root 3 over 2 so we have plus uh, square root 3 over 2 sine x right and all this is divided by or like we can write times 1 over sine does make sense to you right now what does it give you these two sine terms will add up and we get square root 3 sine I mean 
I didn't write sin x here, right? Square root 3 sin x, right? Square root 3 over 2 plus square root 3 over 2 gives you square root 3 sin x. And this term minus half cos x and plus half cos x is 0, right? That gives us 0. So it is this times 1 over sin x divided by sin x. And that gives us square root 3 as our answer, correct? So this expression is equal to square root 3. So sometimes you could evaluate also an expression like this. Here's another one, which is, well, here we have 2. Okay, so let me just draw a line in between. Maybe the last one, yes it is. So that's the last uh, expression to be simplified sin 2a over cos a so the formula which i'm going to use will be uh, let me write down here itself so we have already worked out this formula so we'll use sine 2 let me write capital a as 2 sine a cos a so so sine 2a this is small a equals over cos a should be equals to we are using this formula 2 sine a cos a divided by cos a so cos a cos a cancels perfect and we just get 2 sin a so this is equals to 2 times sin a the last one here is we need to square this up and sin 2x so we can use again the same formula perfect so this formula again we are going to use and that's the reason why I took them on the same page so let's expand this and to expand we will use uh, uh, a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square correct so let's rewrite we have sine x plus cos x whole square we have to take away sine 2x okay so that gives you sine square x plus 2 times sin x cos x plus cos square x and let me write this as minus sin 2x for the time being. I'm not using this formula. Okay, so we get sin square x plus cos square x. Let me rewrite sin square x plus cos square x. Now we'll use this formula now. So what is 2 sin x cos x? It is sine 2x, correct? So I could write this term as sine 2x. And here we have minus sine 2x. So that becomes 0. And what is sine square x plus cos square? It's 1. So it is just 1. So that expression reduces to 1. So that is how actually we could simplify the given trigonometric expressions. But I hope it was a good review for you to go through your double angle formulas and compound angle formulas and work it out. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching and all the best.